Right, what's up everybody? Day one, week four. We just played a wonderful set yesterday in Download in the Mud. Thankfully not raining. Um, it was great and now we have a day off. Monday to start the week before we play a show tomorrow in London. So I figured the bus doesn't come into London because it's too expensive to park. So the bus is parked an hour and a half out of London. So I've caught the train in a little bit closer and I'm gonna stay at a hotel tonight and try to get out there and just do a little bit of adventuring, you know, got a few things on the plans um, and, and we'll see what we cook up both this afternoon slash this evening and tomorrow before the show in London. So let's see how we do. All right, made it to the hotel, had a great shower, had an opportunity to shave. First time I've been out to shave on tour. Normally I just use a, you know, like an electric one because it's quite hard to shave in, in the showers that we're used to showering and backstage at a venue, they're always very tight cubicle showers. So feeling very refreshed. Now I'm going out to find some dinner and tonight, we're gonna go to a musical, man. We're gonna hit the West End and, and, and try and enjoy the night out in the city. Let's go. Day two, week four, man. London had an amazing, amazing evening last night watching the Michael Jackson musical in London. It was just spectacular. And then I spent a few hours walking around the city taking in, I like to call it nighttime tourism, which is when you just do all the tourism stuff buildings wise, like location wise, at night when no one's there. I can still see the Big Ben at nighttime. So went and walked around and did that, got home to the hotel late. 2.30 a.m. I sleep at 3 a.m. It's currently 9 a.m. Ready to head back out and get ready to go to the show tonight. Maybe try to do something this morning, but otherwise get breakfast and head to the venue. For week four grass pop festival dude this festival is incredibly well set up looking forward to today hopefully get to check out a few bands let's see how we do welcome to grass pop everybody can you notice a little something about me being able to wear white shoes on the grass oh my days dude well we're not playing there today it's the main stage we're playing in the metal dome somewhere next time though we'll be at the signing tent later as well Beautiful. I spoke too soon. The rain did arrive. Welcome to our dressing room. Pretty simple. So Grass Pop has a very, very easy, simple, rectangular layout. So it makes it much easier to get around on foot Lots of these festivals you have to ask for shuttles because they drive you all over the festival grounds because all the stages and things are all in just the strangest, most inconvenient places you can possibly imagine. But Grass Pop shows everybody else how to do it right by just having everything in a big rectangle. So if you're backstage, you just walk backstage and then walk as far down as you want to find whatever stage and pop in where you need. It's great. This is what I'm talking about. You just walk this all the way down. So our stage, the middle dome, is just behind here. Most of the bands I want to watch this morning are on this stage right there, Drupal stage. And main stage is at the very, very end of this. Thank you. 
and that is a wrap on Grass Pop Festival. Let me tell you people, that is one of the best festival experiences I have ever had. First time playing Grass Pop and I sure hope it wasn't the last. Shout out everybody here at, at Grass Pop and shout out all the awesome bands that I got to see, man. Now, my feet are aching, my back is aching. I don't know how you festival goers do all this, man. All the standing around. Now I'm going to bed. Good morning, everybody. Week four, day five. And this might be the first day that we consider a struggle day. It is, we, while well, we're currently on site for Full Force Festival in Germany, but we don't actually play until tomorrow. So we played Grass Pop yesterday and it was goddamn incredible. And we've driven here to Germany today and it is a hot, humid, muggy mess. But of course we're here a day early, so we don't get access, like we had nowhere else to go, but so we don't get access to like the festival site where we would park the buses and stuff. So that means the bus has no power. So the bus is gonna be a cooking little oven all day. This might be the first day out of four weeks where we go, oh God, just I just wanna go home. But we'll see, we'll see how we do. That's how that's gone. Hell yeah. Good morning from day two, Full Force Festival. Actual show day today. The sun is shining. It was a hell of a day yesterday. They canceled a lot of shows. There was a lot of delays for 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes of severe, severe downfall, downpour. Um, but we're on it late today. Like I said, the sky is blue today. So we're hoping there should be less issues in the way of weather and there are a few bands that I want to check out today so let's take a look got some full force stickers made here they had a sticker making company you can make whatever you want little keepsake from this great festival dinner time this festival has had the best catering without a doubt and they have an ice cream machine Right, it's the last day of week four man we are in hamburg we are coming up on our last week of tour um we got here relatively late it's currently 3 p.m we came straight from full force this morning um, which was a great festival great time and i'm just gonna go do probably hopefully i say my last load of washing that should last me out the very final 10 days of this tour show finished an hour ago standing outside waiting for the bus because we're on a terrible street i want to go to bed our loadout tonight is smack bang in the middle of a very busy street so i'm on guard duty here lewis over there is on guard duty over there 